welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys my dream education center here so i've been trying to get this room um this is my kids room by the way i've been trying to get this room so that i can add a table here for them and you know just have this room for them to be able to do their um, learning abigail can do her zoom in here and i and not be in the living room where she is usually um get distracted so i'm so happy now that my semester has you know finished I had the time to uh, go get some things and order online and a lot of these stuff I will link in the description so you guys can check it out if you guys want to. So let's get started. So starting over here, I am going to show you guys the room, but be mindful that a lot of these things I am purging and uh, did a lot of cleaning and decluttering, taking out a lot of their toys and clothes that they don't need any longer. So that my um, parents are actually going to take that to be donated. So when you see that, don't be surprised. <laughs> so this is my kids room. We have a TV here. Um, but it's not being used um, currently, so we are going to take it down. They don't watch TV in their bedroom. We pretty much put it up here so my parents can watch it when they were staying with us um, when my dad was a little sick. So um, we're gonna bring it down and we no longer need it. And no worries, it's safe, it's secured, and uh, it will not fall from there, but we are gonna take it out this weekend. So this is Abby's bed. So she right now loves plushes. She has a ton. My son as well. He has so much and a lot of them I did uh, take away and will donate. Um, but these are some that she right now loves to sleep with. And um, this dresser right here, it doesn't have anything currently. It was hers, but we instead gave her this one. We got it in Ikea and it does have the doors. The doors are right there, but I feel like it's easier to just, you know, get to it like this and, you know, uh, instead of having like doors or anyone getting hurt with any doors. So I felt like for now, this works for us. And this is just Abigail. So it has her clothes and then down there has her underwear and socks. And um, this is some cars that they, you know, play with. I have all the houses up here. Um, pretty much I keep it up here because sometimes my son will just like do a mess. Like he'll just like tear everything apart or he'll take away the pieces there. And it's just, I'd rather leave it up there. And if he asks for it, I give it to him. So we have here a um, crib with a baby. Uh, we have this Melissa and Doug um, cleaning station. Uh, a lot of this toys is like all of this right here, this mess here that you see uh, is things that are going to be donated and something that I still got to go through and put away. This backpack, actually, my son is going to start going with me uh, to my school um, when I go back in the fall in person. So he will be joining uh, the preschool there. Well, not a preschool, but child care center. So this pretty much um, will be his backpack. So he, he loves it. And then this is his bed. He does have a toddler bed. Uh, we have a kitchen there. This is their closet and it's a mess in there. And I'm not gonna show you that, but it's just clothes and some things that are put away there. So no worries about that. This is what I wanted to show you guys. So this corner is their learning station. Um, I got these desks and, and tables, pretty much everything from Ikea. Uh, everything that has to do with like the furniture. All of that is from Ikea. Uh, I will link them down below just so you can uh, look it up if you want. I also got these from Ikea. Mm -hmm. This is a tablet and headphone holder. Um, so I like this because they do get tablet time. And um, I, love, I love putting it here with their cable. I got these clips from Amazon. Um, and it's so good. I got this mat from Ikea as well. I figured like they needed something up here in case like, you know, they were coloring or something. So that's pretty much it. Uh, these right here, these chairs, I got them from Ikea. They do spin around, but they don't have wheels on the bottom, which I love. So they're not moving it from, you know, the place here. So this is pretty much, uh, it was a, uh, you know, no brainer there that I had to get this one instead of like um, wheels. Cause I was initially gonna get wheels, but when I saw these, I was like, perfect. They're not gonna go anywhere. So this one um, is Ronaldo's desk and it does have a drawer. 
and I do want to get some um, like paper trays and stuff to put here for him but so I'm going to wait for back to school um, time to come back so I can purchase these things at Target so for now I have these mats and they're from um, Melissa and Doug and these come with some crayons I bought crayons for it that it's for this it's a dry erase so he pretty much do his numbers and on the other side he can color it and also do the numbers so I have this one for him and then I have a little garbage can um, I have this little rack here I don't have too many things in it but I do have like their um, books and stuff that we do um, these are all from Target um, and then these right here are dry erase books and I love these because you know they can always uh, do it every day and you know it's dry erase so this is really good I have some pre-k and some kindergarten ones um, for them so it's pretty good so moving along this right here is Abigail's desk and the same thing I got this from Ikea for her tablet her phones her table she has her chair I do want to get both of them um, some cushions for the chair because I feel like it's a little low and then Abigail's dresser has a book here um, she has mats as well so this is the phonics and I like it because uh, as well she can you know trace this and then it has all the letters here and it has the short and long vowels on the side um, and then here it has other mats um, which she can you know trace and then start writing and then the other side is for cursive but we're not doing that right now and then this mat here is the numbers and this is really good I, I just love the concept of her tracing and you know being able to recognize her numbers but that is something that she's working on so this is from Melissa and Doug and I will put a link down below for you and then I got this book here this book actually we got it from her pediatrician she gave this to her and this pretty much has like all like maths and different numbers we haven't started it yet um, because I had put it away and I just found it so uh, we will be starting this soon she has another one of shapes and alphabets I believe but that one I, again I put it away and I can't find it so <laughs> we're doing right now the hungry caterpillar this book I've had it oh since Abby was a baby um, as you can see it was chewed up and oh my gosh um, I do have another one too because they do fight for it. So I keep one here on her desk because we do activities as um, I put on my Instagram. Uh, we did this activity here with um, the caterpillar and you know, we saw this stuff. She really enjoyed it a lot. Um, and then bringing it to these boards, I got them from Target and this is a dry erase board and it's also magnet. So this is where I would write um, here when we're doing our um, circle time when we're doing uh, like the calendar and I'm showing her um, you know the first steps of math so we're doing that and um, you know I have here the weather I just got these in and these are from Amazon I will leave the link down below like I said and it brought all these posters that you see up here and I love it because it's at you know in front of her and she's able to look at them when she needs to when we're doing circle time and you know she needs some help it's there for her and then this right here I got it um, the pack board from Ikea and right now it currently just hosts our days of the week and um, it has some clips and I love this stationery here I have it for my desk as well and it works great for my school stuff so it's gonna work right here and then I'm just um, I just have like uh, this here which is you know uh, what I showed you guys in my other video of like her recognizing her age and as well as these Osmo mats um, I just ordered a new one so both of them can each have a mat but next to that I have the Osmo here I do have another base um, in the basket um, for Ronaldo when he needs it and then I have all the Osmo pieces here and you know pretty much have everything here. I love that they come in these uh, organizing bins because I don't have to look for anything else to put them in so I love this so much and they both enjoy the Osmos uh, game and then I have this can register from learning resources and um, we're gonna start learning about money um, and then this bin here furniture I got it from Ikea and I pretty much just uh, did these um, 
labels myself. I just looked up pictures and printed them and I laminated them. I love my laminating machine. Um, so pretty much I have them in here and I love that they come with these. And you know, on this one I have magnets and I have flashcards. And I felt like I didn't need to do just one bin for each thing because I have room for it. So it was just easy for me. Here I'm gonna add another label. I forgot to um, put the cube because I do have the cubes in here as well. So that will be added soon. And that's pretty much our labeling here. Um, I did get, oops, sorry for this. I had to put it up here. But this is um, Abigail's uh, styling kit. And then this is Ronaldo's shaving kit. I got these two at the learning um, resource. Actually, no, I got these two at um, Lakeshore. And I will leave that for you down um, below too. This is his Disney hat. <laughs> he loves cars. Uh, so pretty much that's it for... Uh, their room and their learning station and I do have um, Another video coming up where I keep all of their materials and you know not in this room because knowing my son It would just be all Ruined and all over the floor. So I had to keep that separate in my room So I will make another video for that. So stay tuned for that before ending the video I did wanted to show you guys these workbooks that I worked on for Ronaldo and for Abby So for Ronaldo, I do have his um, name here, which he'll you know try to trace I don't expect too much for him But I just wanted to get familiar with you know the letters of his name and seeing it and just like you know writing on it So I do have a few here. Hopefully you know he progresses and then i have these basic alphabet um sheets for tracing and um i thought it was a good idea you know just so he can get familiar and we can try with the tracing method as well as these pages in the back which these are you know pages for him to trace his lines and you know pretty much just small things that i have for him um to just try out so he's not feeling left out for abby so i did this one for him and then these two here are for Abby. So I do have Abigail's um, workbook. And it, you know, it has different pages of like letters and um, you know, just so she can have some work to do at home. Cause she currently does not get any homework. So I did make these so she can, you know, get in the concept of um, doing some work at home as well as her name here. And I have our phone number, which she'll be learning. Um, so she's gonna be tracing those. And then in the back, I have these pages for shapes, and she really enjoys these, like coloring um, each shape with corresponded. And she did work on this one, and you know, it was just to color the blue, but she wanted to do each, so I gave her a prompt where all the um, triangles are red, all the squares are green, and she did that herself, and she really does enjoy it. And then this is her fine motor skills um, book. And then this book, it has all these types of like pages for, you know, writing so she can, um, you know, get better at tracing a little bit and um, just to work some strength of her arm. And then I have these that are cutting. So we'll cut the bottom and she'll paste them up top where they belong and then she'll color these red. And I have that for all the colors. And then in the back, I have these which she loves to do um these type of like matching um so she did do these here um by herself and she got a little confused because she thought it was like to circle you know the right one so i did have to like prompt her again to read um read to her the direction so she was able to get it at the end and um and then yeah i, I have here uh, for her to do also some shapes where we'll cut these here and we'll paste them where they belong and pretty much that's all I got for Abigail for now um, I do have another book that I'm going to do for her which is math because we will be learning math because that's something that she's going to be learning in kindergarten so that will be coming um, as well uh, in the near future and you know I'm open to um, sell these as well um, if anyone needs uh, any of these um, books you can always email me or DM me on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to make one for you and ship it out so I hope you guys enjoy my little nook of education center and I hope you guys do like and subscribe and also comment down below with any questions you can also DM me on my Instagram and I will see you guys in the next one bye